Yo, what's up? This your boy Lano XL, Mr. 18 Pockets. And what's up? It's your boy, Mr. McGee. We are in the building. We in the building again, boobie. You know how it is, brother. You know we, we had to come and hit them <laughs> right in the mouth I with know. another one, man. Oh, my God. Look, can you believe it? Look. I Look on the side of me. I see her. One of I the biggest. I think, I think the industry's in trouble. I think the industry's in, in trouble because... We have one of the best rappers. I said it first. Best female rappers coming up right now, man. Mm, killing the streets right now. Killing it. So much motion. Look, more motion than guys. I was like, whoa, hold on now. Because every, look, I couldn't believe this. Someone kept telling me, just kept telling me about, like, listen to this person, listen to this person. And I'm biased. I'm a guy. So I'm like, uh, nah, I listen to no. Because I don't listen to no female rapper but Mia X. That's mm. it. Mm. And then next thing you know, I clicked on it. I said, uh, I'm going to shake this bitch and leave. <laughs> For sure. If y'all don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about one of the hardest working, talented females. Like I said, coming up out of Tennessee, man. M-Town, Cashville, all around. We talking about triple play squeak, man. What's up, baby? What's happening? Yeah. We happy to have you in the building, Look, man. I'm glad to be here. Nice environment. I'm glad y'all sure. reached out to me. I'm, hey, I'm happy. Let's Let's get it. For sure. So what we're going to start with is I want to know, how did you get that name? How I get your replacement. Mm -hmm. So what's the meaning? Tell us the meaning behind <laughs> that. So my my childhood nickname is Squeaky Squeak. My daddy gave me that nickname when I was a baby. Um, he said that um, when I used to cry when I was little, it wasn't like really a cry. It was like a squeak. Like oh man, you said okay. <laughs> right. oh, he right. said it was what? more like a yeah. squeak. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, he used to tell me all the time like that Biggie song. Um, that uh. Uh, 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 uh. He yeah. said that's yeah. how I used to yeah. sound when I used to cry. So oh. he nicknamed me Squeaky. So um, you was already getting your, your music thing going. <laughs> yeah, I've been rapping since I was four. So like mm. I've been on doing this since I was a kid for real. Oh, okay. But the triple play came from my daddy again. Um, just one day, like just me just being a hustler, and he just like he was like triple play, and I was like. You know what, Daddy? That I stuck like right that. there. That I stuck. swear to God, right? That's why I wish Shouts I still out to had Daddy that. for instantly saying <laughs> triple play squeak and then right. look, boom. Fact. She it already said it worked out. It mm -hmm. worked out. So look, what we finna do today, man, we're gonna talk about life. We're gonna talk about music. We're gonna talk about that heavy motion that you got in the street. Okay. Uh independency, artists, and what it takes to really just build a brand. So like how you feeling today? I'm feeling I'm feeling very, very high class. I'm feeling good. Sheesh, I love it. <laughs> Let me ask you this. So are you from Nashville? You're a Nashville native? I'm or originally what? from Memphis, but I've been in Nashville for a long time. So mm. I'm putting on for both cities. I'm really putting on for the whole Tennessee for real. Ooh. Nashville my second home, so I gotta rip Cashville. So you putting that so you saying, you know what? I'm gonna put that on my back. I'm gonna carry both cities. Memphis in my veins and I put Cashville on my back and that's a fact. Oh, nice. that's good. Seriously. That that's awesome right there. So let me ask you this. The pressure, is it any pressure of carrying two cities? And Memphis is blowing up. Like mm -hmm. Memphis is blowing up. Listen, mm -hmm. man, I almost packed my bags and went to Memphis. <laughs> I said, oh, hold on now. Yeah. I'm going to Memphis because <laughs> Gotti handing out deals. I'm talking about everybody right, handing out right. deals. So let me ask you this. Ha is it any pressure of having Memphis and Cashville on your back while you saying, you know what, I'm finna do this journey right here? I, I ain't gonna say it's no pressure. It's it's just like you said, it's a journey, really. Mm -hmm. There ain't no pressure though. Um I just you know, it's just something that I feel like I gotta do. Like being born in Memphis and moving to Nashville when I was young and being back and forth to Memphis all the time, it's like it's kinda like a mixed breed, you know? So it's like nice. I can't not rep Cashville. I can't not yes. rep Memphis. So it, you gotta do Off both, you know? No. So while you was living in Memphis and before you came up to Nashville, who was your inspiration musically wise? Like who did you listen to then? So my number one, my favorite rapper all time is Scarface. That's my number one favorite rapper mm. all time. My that's, daddy, that's hard. My daddy, he had us on Face Ghetto Boys, mm -hmm. Devin the Dude, all that like real hip hop when yes, I was young. For sure. So like he always been like my number one. But like I give you like a quick top five. Um, okay. And, and the rest of them ain't no order. Okay. Face right. face number I'm one. I'm going to judge you, face though, because one. even though you say no order. That's cool. It's no order, though. But I'm going to say Wayne is in there. So we got Face, we got Wayne. Okay. We got uh, Boosie for show. 
Ooh. We got um never heard Boosie in the top five. But what okay. Boosie mm-hmm. Ray's niggas? Shout out to Boosie. Boosie he did. Ray's niggas. He I'm did. telling you, he most definitely. <laughs> did. I gotta he agree did. with that. No, seriously, he literally raised niggas. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna put Gotti in there for sure, and then I give y'all a female. So yeah, just give us a female. I'm gonna give y'all a female because coming up, like in my young years, it was Trina. Okay, Trina was my Shout favorite for Trina. sure. Yeah. Um, like preteen, you know, growing up. It, Nicki Minaj for sure. Okay, but uh, like being like young, like my first like favorite female female rapper, it was Trina. So that's your top five: Scarface, yep. Boosie, Gotti, Trina, and Wayne. And Wayne. Yep. yep. Okay. You gotta respect. I, it. I do. You gotta. Respect I'm not going to guess what you, you named the All Star team. Yeah. <laughs> she named the All Star sure. team. Gotti's a hustler. For sure. Boosie's for the streets. For sure. Um, Scarface deep. Yeah. yeah, I say Scarface is lyricist. my king of the south. Oh, for sure, he yeah. is the king Sorry, of the T. south. Sorry, T.I. I say he's the king of the south. But, but T.I. said though, T.I. knew it though. Yeah, but he T.I. said it though. But he get more T.I. get more claim for being t- uh, king of the south than than my man, my That's, man, my man Scarface. I never seen a man cry. So it's till just I come seen on, a man die. Yeah. Nah, so, for real, y'all. That's your. That's people. People don't understand. Like that's your favorite rapper. Favorite rapper. Like yeah. y'all, y'all these. A lot of these quotes and stuff that they rapper these rappers say come from face. Like, facts, facts, facts. So how long? You said you started rapping at four. That's my first time writing a rap. I was four you remember years your, old. So you remember your first rap you wrote? I said that I was never gonna forget it, and I forgot it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I forgot it. What? I, re- I remember like raps though that I used to write in like the back of my fourth grade. He class. forget stuff all the time. The hell yeah, I forget. I, 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 stuff I be forgetting. You forget stuff? Yeah, yeah, all the time. Forget he for, he yeah. forget about his how many girlfriends he had. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I forget him. <laughs> See, look, he don't even care. He's, he's forget him. Forget him. Forget him. Get See, him out of here. I can't do next. That. Dang. Nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> no, that's tough, oh, y'all. Look out for him. You see what I'm nah, saying, God. Mr. Watch McGee? Out for him, y'all. y'all go follow Mr. McGee. Yeah, but speaking of that, though, Squeaky, well, let, let, let's get to some real shit, Squeaky. Let's so, get into it. You single? You got a man out here? What, what's, what's really going on? No, nah, I got a man. You do? Uh, you, you got a man? Uh-huh. He's a lucky man. <laughs> ah. a lucky man. Yes, he really is. He's a lucky what do you think? <laughs> well, let me ask you this: What do he think about? What What do he think about with the success that you have? He love it. He all for it. Like he, he like. One of my biggest fans. I would say he my biggest fan, but yeah. my my folks uh, get on me about that. But mm. he's one of my biggest for sure. So nice. he's a squeak. Oh, he's Mr. Squeak. For sure. <laughs> for sure. Shouts out to Mr. That's squeak. Mr. Squeak. Yeah, I love it. So let me I ask you it. this right here. So that means the guys who's jumping in her DM, because you got male groupies. Oh, yes. You got male groupies. You Cut are an artist. <laughs> what, you don't check them? You leave them on red? What, I you just I, curve them? I don't pay them no attention. Yeah. But you do got him. I got a man. Yeah, I know you got <laughs> a man. That's what I got is a man. There you go. Okay. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Lady, don't worry about the haters and the spectators. None of that. You got what you need. Let me ask you this. What is the like the three qualities about your man that you really that you really fuck with? Mm. Um He's a hustler. Facts. Um, he's real. Okay. He's authentic. He's himself. Um That's what we need. He's willing to like grow like we we we've been growing together for a long mm. time like we he used to be like i used to call him my left hand back in like high school before we like started oh, this. A high school so, man. no 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 we was not on this in high school we was okay. not on this in high school he was just like my best friend i used to call him my left hand we started this like when i was like early college Mm. That's when you know we started this whole thing. So we've been like growing together for real. We've been knowing each other since we was like 15, 16 years old. Oh, okay. So y'all been building and y'all done start a foundation, got a bond and we everything had a together. We and a bond first, and then we decided to, you know, there perfect you time mix and mingle. Now, now, are you encouraging <laughs> like love and relationships in your music, or is it sure. fuck nigga free? Both. <laughs> I think both. she's fucking me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's both. Oh my gosh, she's pressure now. It's definitely yeah. both. Like it's just depending on the mood I'm in. How he I make you, you feel? He I make mean, you walk out the house. You mad at him? You going right in there? I'm going right to the stool. Yeah. Uh huh. Gotcha. <laughs> so you outside? You know, I be outside and I be inside too. You know what I'm saying? So it just depends. Okay. So let me ask you this right here. So like I said, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back to when you said you started rapping in four. What age did you started rapping when you? took it serious mm. well that's okay so it's my timeline give me your Ro- time wrote my first rap at four my first time recording in the studio i was 14 okay that's when i 
first started taking it serious. So I was super young then, but I stopped. And the reason I stopped then because my, how do I say this? My lyrics were too advanced for a 14 year old. Oh, okay. You was bad. That basically, you was <laughs> bad. I ain't gonna and say you, I was yes, bad, that's what but it was. I was knew bad. a lot. You know what I'm saying? I knew a lot. I was around a lot. So the stuff that I was rapping about was real life. Okay. So people was like looking at it like, how the hell this 14 year old girl? She mm -hmm. rapping about dope. She rapping about this. She rapping about that. And I'm the type, I'm real protective of like my family and stuff. So I ain't really want my folks to get like judged. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. even though we don't care, you know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't really nothing we worried about. But Thanks. my parents, I'm 14. Why this girl talking about yeah, cocaine? Yeah. Well, her you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. She talking about mobbing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like chill. So I Thanks. really, I really had like just chilled on it. Mm -hmm. And then um I was just talking about this. Uh I was going to college and I had to, it's real hard, like working full time and going to school full time. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's super facts. hard to juggle both of them because everybody like me, I didn't come up in a family where you they gonna pay for you to go to school or they gonna yeah. pay your bills to yeah. go to school yeah. if they had it like that for sure yeah most definitely you know what i'm saying you, but i didn't come up in a family like that so you gotta it was hard get it work. how you live mm -hmm. you know what yeah. i'm saying so Thanks. i had to ultimately choose between either going to school full time or working full time and of course i chose to get some money you off the feel top. Me? That's off the, the top. first thing like I'm i do. need that right now money mm -hmm. i can't wait you know, cause Five it's years like, later. I ain't got no battery that's going to pay my bills. I ain't got no, you know, I got, I got, I'm grown. I'm mm -hmm. trying yeah. to handle my business. Yeah. So ever since I dropped out of college, it was like, okay, bet I'm finna take my music serious. Cause that's on my own time. I can mm. go to the studio. I can write a rap fast, you know, yes. like everything else is on my own time. So I started that, I say around like 2016 is when I really Ooh. started like taking it serious for real. So 2016 is when you said, okay, look. This my plan A, B, C, and D right here. For sure. I'm about to take off. For sure. What's the biggest transition from 2016 to 2022 right now? The biggest transition is really um, just me growing as an artist for real. Like seeing seeing the growth. Like you know, like you. A lot of times we as people we are our own biggest critics. Like, yes, yes, for a fact. Well, we, I was just talking to your manager, Chris. Me and, me and Chris was just chopping it up on that. Yes, most definitely. Yeah. People are most definitely their own biggest critics. So when I see when I see myself, like people, like they see me and they like, oh, you killing it, oh, you this, oh, you that. But it's like, um, I see myself in a much bigger light, mm -hmm. but I'm still growing and I'm still appreciate, appreciating where I'm at. Mm. You know, I'm learning to appreciate where you at, yeah, like in every right. aspect of life, no matter what's going on or what Not you're doing, you got to appreciate mm -hmm. where you at right now. Yes, Look back, me. see where you came from. So really my biggest thing is like the growth, like, and not only just like a fan base, but like the way I write music, mm. the way the way I choose beats, mm. the way I perform, you know, because yes. if you go back and you look at some, or talk to somebody that went to a show in 2016 versus they come to a show now in 22, that's a different mm -hmm. squeak. Mm -hmm. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Like, yes. oh, squeak got crowd control. Oh, squeak, yeah. squeak up and she just kicking it. Very back, talented, you know? very talented. Thank when you. when Thank we get you. to look on your page and we get to just follow you and we be happy, we be like, yo, this is what they missing. There. And like I said, um, I'm a guy, so I'm going to be biased a little bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I'm, sure. I'm looking for a guy to do this to yeah. be in motion like this and be very dedicated yeah. with it. I saw you I'm like yo this is this yeah. is the this is what you're supposed to do so let me ask you this how you went and you said okay I'm going to I'm going to go hard in this what would you tell an artist who is looking at you right now mm -hmm. and who is like don't even know right now what they want to start at got so many things going on what would you tell that artist right now mm -hmm. Keep going. If it's what you really want to do, do it. Like, all jokes aside, like, never give up. Like, because it's, you, you can't even think about giving up. You can't say you're going to give up. Like, you know, the tongue is real. Manifestation yeah, yeah. is real. Mm -hmm. The stuff you put out to, into the universe, that's real. Mm -hmm. So, 
if they if it's something that you really want to do, it gotta be your passion. It gotta really if if you don't really want to do something, you ain't gonna put your all into it. Yeah. Facts, I yeah. believe that. You gotta it. be passionate about something or really really want something to keep doing it because I'm I'm an independent artist. Mm-hmm. I put a lot of money behind myself. Yeah, so I gotta take myself serious. I gotta take myself serious. That's how if I, I was. if I did if I wasn't serious about this, I wouldn't be doing this. Off the like top. you know how much it costs to be a rapper. Yes, off the top, you feel me? I tell people this. Let me tell. You, <laughs> let me tell you what me and Mr. McGee talk about all the time. One of the jobs that I hate to have is a rapper. Ooh. And the reason I say that is because you put out so much money, it's not promised to get it back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You, you don't have believe. any equipment. Yeah. You don't have any equipment to say, yeah. okay, I'm a, I'm done rapping. Let me sell my equipment. Like if yeah. I set this up, I can sell microphones and I can sell cameras that we bought. But if you're a rapper and you say I'm done rapping, ah oh, well, I'll, if you spent whatever, it's over. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, yeah. Because you can't sell that. I mean, you can sell your raps. Yeah, that's you it. can be yeah. a ghostwriter, but you know, yeah. for the bigger portion, everything you done done is for nothing. And I didn't came too far to say I can't. I'm done. Yeah. You True. feel what I'm saying? I, like I done done too much to say I'm not doing it no more. You feel what you me? What, what you think about what you think about ghostwriters? Shit, they cool. Somebody if, if if somebody wanted to write something for you, would you allow it? Maybe so. I'd be Good, open I to it. I love that thinking. I, I'd okay. be open to I like that. I I'm like not that. opposed to it. I write all my own rap, so mm-hmm. I'm not offended. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Because I know what I can do. I'm going to go in the stool. I wrote a song. I wrote a full song right here in the God. I wrote a full song <laughs> yesterday in the car while I was driving in like 10, 15 minutes. Full song. Top. She's telling it just like that? He know. I'm going straight in the Easy studio like that. and I'm going crazy. Like Jay-Z fast. Girl. That's a Jay-Z. Nice. Well, I'm Jay-Z. recording fast. Like. It's it's easy, and that's and that's what I say when I'm uh that's what I mean when I say like, like my riding growth, a bike. like yeah, like mm-hmm. how how fast I can write now. It's like I just it's so easy now. So if somebody come up and be like, I got a song for you, I'm gonna listen to it. Yeah, if fact. I like the song, hell yeah, yeah I'm gonna run it. with it. You mm-hmm. feel me? Yeah. I ain't denying. You ain't no tripping hit. about that. I ain't denying no hit, man. You be crazy to say no shit. R- rap is the only thing people call it goes right. Every other genre they call it cold yeah. right. I, yeah. I you know love saying? it. Yeah. So. Yeah. I love it that yeah, I love your honesty because let me tell you something. I always say what you just said. I say, you know what? I'm open to anything. For sure. For sure. We're not open to anything. But musically a wise, I'm stuff. open to yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look a lot of Look stuff. Look at McGee. McGee's <laughs> just looking at me like, what? <laughs> what's anything? Yeah, what's <laughs> anything? <laughs> so let okay, so let's talk about this. Saying that you're gonna rap putting that movement inside your rap mm-hmm. like really going and saying I'm gonna really do this mm-hmm. how do you deal with hate or how do you deal with people who feel entitlement now because mm-hmm. they see the growth I don't pay no attention to that I literally don't give it no energy same people with you from then same with you, with you now with me now and them mm. same people that's Loyal. going with me loyalty yeah. Lo- loyalty that's love live and loyalty that's how we doing that's what it is for I sure. like that I like that saying right there for sure for sure. So, so let, me, let me ask you this now. Um, have you ever released an album? Yeah. You have? Yeah. What do you prefer? Because this is thing now where people are really focusing on singles instead of uh, albums. What, you gotta, what's your thoughts on that? My thoughts on that is you got to go with what's going on right now. Mm. So I'm, I Catch can do way. one. I got so much music. If I wanted to go drop a young boy dropped a 30 song mm-hmm. album. Yeah. If yes. I want to go drop a 30 song album right now. You can now, do it. All hits, right hand of God. All hits. All hits. I love the confidence. All hits. I don't make no <laughs> I bullshit. love the confidence. I'm telling you. I can drop that right now. I believe But you. it's a singles game right now. Okay. So I'm being I smart. buy your music right you now. Look, that, you already sold me. I'm re- I buy your music right now. I'm, I'm, I'm serious, though. Like, ain't no cap in my rap. So let me ask okay. you this. So how often are you releasing these singles? So right now, I'm on a... I'm on like a... I'm on like a six week drop schedule right now. Okay. So oh, okay. So, you know, my first my well, my latest single just dropped today. Everybody mm-hmm. go get that. It's called Do It. Produced yeah. by the one and only LK Super Sans. Um, so in another six weeks, you're gonna see. It's gonna me be again. another single. So basically yeah. you're hitting them across the head. I'm, you I'm slapping, slapping them. You're slapping people ears I'm with music. Them. 
Nice. I like it. Because nice. it, it, the thing is, like I said, I got so much music and I just be sitting on it. But now I'm like, man, I'm finna put out. Yeah, the, shit look, out. look, the management team was like, yo, we got to get this out, right? For sure. And was that what you you guys was thinking that you guys just got to get this music out? Yeah. Yeah, it's too much music to have. I always yeah. drop. Yeah. Especially when you keep dropping, it just it just it's anticipation it's a, and, and make your fans momentum. Yeah. It's all that. You so know? when do you plan on just saying, you know what, I'm gonna drop an album? Uh, top of the year. Mm, so you ready for 2023 already? You uh, already we ready. already halfway through. Okay. We already got our schedule halfway through, and we stopped right there because we was like. We was having a little debate about which song we wanted next. <laughs> That's the only reason we stopped. So we could have went all the way through 23, but we halfway through already. Okay, your single do it. Let, let's talk about that. What was your mind frame going in to make this record? Um, Just fun, just having fun. I actually recorded do it in 2020 in Memphis. Okay. Uh, I recorded it in the studio, uh, and I was really just in there having fun. Like, if you... Go listen to the song. You'll just see that it's just a fun song. Mm. And like I said, I've been sitting on music. So it's like I've been having a record since 2020. Mm. And my manager, um, OC, shout out OC. What's up, OC? He called and he was like, "Um, I was about to, I was actually supposed to drop a different song today. Mm -hmm. And he called, like, in the middle of me, like, getting everything together. He like, nah, we need to put this one out. He like, went in the vault. Yeah, he, he said, I feel vault. like we need to go and put this out. And I'm like, shit, run it. Mm. I ain't opposed to it. Like I said, that's my management team. They've been with me since day one. I trusted them. I trust them with my whole life. Yeah. So sometimes you got to take yourself out of it. And it that's ain't about what right you there. want. Yes. Yeah, because you know I'm saying? different. I'm like, no, I'm dropping this. Nah, yeah. See, so sometimes I'm like that, though. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But... You're humble now, though. Yeah, yeah. I'm not humble. I'm yeah. dropping this now. <laughs> this what they get. Yeah. Nah, but like, nah, like, like I said, I, like I trust you. them. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? So when he said like, let's swap the single out for this single, I'm like, cool. You know, because all of his hits, all of his good music. So and he's a genius out. because it's working. Just look at it's the uh, motion that you get from it. B yeah. Huge record. So when you go in to record, do you already have? something that you want to say or do you listen to the beat like what's what is squeak vibe so in the studio a squeak vibe in the studio is a dark studio room with some uh, led lights and a lot of smoke oh um, nice. nice yeah it's a dungeon but a okay lot of smoke, i'm yeah. listening that 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 gets me that gets me going mm. like i don't know what it is about me and light but i don't like light Mm. I don't like light in the house. When you work, my house dark. Oh, okay. I, don't, I don't like light. Like my cousin, she'll come over my house and she'll open my blinds. Like, girl, open the damn blinds. Well, you got it's the perfect here. job, right? Because she she gonna work at night. You gonna you get booked yeah. at night. Yeah, you got you. Yeah. Okay, I see. I'm yeah. I'm going down yeah. the street so, road with you. But as far as like the beat and all that, it really mm -hmm. depends. Sometimes I go in there with music wrote. Sometimes I go in there play the beat. I'm and gonna write right now. Mm. It just depends. I got a I got a song I got a phone I got two phones I got okay. two phones two full phones. of of full of songs, but I might go up in the studio and be like, man, give me some. No, give I'm me something write new. Right now. Always, it just depends on my mood. Always something new. Always something new. That's good that you got a lot of music in the vault. So 2023, the top of the year is when we're gonna really get a full album completed from Squeak. I'm going to say it ain't a full album. It's an EP. EP. Okay. okay. Cool. That's what uh, we EP. Get. That's what we get. High class. The EP. Mm, about how many songs you thinking? Mm, how many we got on there, C? Uh, eight, nine. Yeah. Cool for okay. EP. Okay. Yeah. Cool for EP. Nice. Yeah. So, who do Squeak want to work with in the future? Um, in Give the me city, an artist. Give me city, yeah, any artist. Like any artist. I'm talking about. They can be from Maine. They can be from wherever. Like, <laughs> The growth and the, the motion that you have, and you also see these levels that you're taking. For sure. Like, For which sure. artists have you was like, you know what? When I get right here, mm -hmm. I'm reaching out to this one. My dream feature right now is Lil Dirt. Off okay. the top. I love Lil Dirt. Nice. nice. If you yeah. in the car with me, you come to my house, I'm a Lil Dirt you to deal. Mm. Like, literally. Yeah. Like, literally. I like Lil Dirt like, too. my dude told me, you listen to Dirk all day, dog. Yeah. Hey Siri, play Lil Dirt. I don't even say no song. Play Lil Dirt. I don't care you what you play. You got a playlist of Lil Dirt. Play Lil Dirt. Play Lil Dirt. <laughs> I don't care what it is. Just play them. <laughs> so I seen I seen um, that you got to work with a lot of other artists out of Tennessee. Give me a favorite artist that you got to work with out of Tennessee. I can't tell you. 
Oh, it could be 20 of them. I it can't. C- it's a secret because the song ain't dropped yet. Mm. Oh. You know okay, well, saying? before the song, before that song dropped, who was one of the people that you worked with in Tennessee that was your favorite? Mm. I'm putting you on Trevor Mandel. Trapper Man, oh my God, Trapper Man Dale. With my boy, I feel like Trapper Man Dale has that sound that is 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 dope. Yeah, I hands love down. Trapper, hands down. I it's love Trapper Man Dale music. It's conscience rap. You know, it's real. Yeah. You can feel them. Mm. Like it's a vibe. So what's next? Give me something. What's what's next for Squeak? Like what what what's next for? Well, we know do it. Right, we gonna yeah. do it. Go get gonna, it right we now. We gonna do it. Yeah, we gonna go keep doing it. Yeah, go get it. I guess we <laughs> that's said, what that's what's it. next for Squeak. We just gonna keep doing there it. There you God go. Damn it. <laughs> Nike, Nike vibes. You feel yeah. me? We gonna do it. I love it. I love it. But um, so after that, any more singles? I know you're coming with more singles, more singles. Uh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Any 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 guest appearances we should be looking looking forward to? Um, for this year, as of right now, no. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 I'm, I'm, okay. Ho- I'm holding it. Holding I'm holding it. I'm holding it. I'm holding it. Well, we do clip. skits. Yeah, we do clip. skits. Look at us. I'm, I'm, I'm begging for a job. We do skits. So <laughs> if you want, if you want to do Say some, no yeah, if you want to do some radio skits, man, look, me and Mr. McGee, we ready. Say no That's more. Yeah, That's me and Mr. No McGee ready. So I'm going to ask you this right here before you go, because I know you're a busy woman. And uh, I'm just happy that you came and got to share your story on our platform. Hey, I'm having we, a, I'm having, and I had a good time. Yes, so. Off the top, off the top. Um, so let me ask you this before we get to go. You named your top five MCs, right? Mm-hmm. So you said Scarface. Is that what also inspired you when you go into the studio? Is for sure. That type of rap, like I'm going to give it to them raw. Raw for sure. Um, lately I've been kind of like stepping outside of my norm Mm -hmm. like outside of my box um and i've been you know just having a little more fun and you know just i wouldn't say gimmicky but kind of a little more girly because if you go listen to some of my earlier music it's just like I did. Mm-hmm. It's just like straight up street. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's what I said. I but said, dang. Her, her, <laughs> you know, no no offense. I was like, her mother is the streets. <laughs> yeah. She For is sure. hardcore. Like you are sure. you are hardcore, but I understand what you're saying now. You're 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 opening up to a yeah. to a bigger and broader uh, yeah. audience and right. being a bigger rapper. Yeah, crossing yeah. over into a couple different lanes because my, my ultimate goal is to go mainstream. All the time. I want to be like a hip-hop pop. That's what you got Chris yes. for. Chris, yes. so, Chris is going to make sure yes. y'all you, you oh, mainstream. Sure. Look at this. Yeah, for This sure. guy's right here. This is his job. He knows his job is to make sure that you are mainstream. Yeah. So yeah. for sure. So well, let me ask this real quick, man. Let me go because I got to get this out the way. I am um, <laughs> Mr. Kiss the Fupa. Um, that's <laughs> yes, right. That and, um, pie. I cannot really deal. No, I mean no disrespect, but I prefer my women with a ooh, with a little curves yeah, and baby. some some interstate. Big girls and, matter. Tell me and, which one you gonna pick. And, and highways and oh, byways. Man. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, they do. So, um, and I know some of you know some of my um, healthier women can be. Um, insecure sometimes and maybe mm-hmm. lacking the confidence and I, mm-hmm. I, I really love your confidence you oh, know yeah, what I big mean confidence. so if you could just to, if you could say something to some of them sisters that may be lacking the confidence yeah. that you have uh, just some encouraging words mm. for them um, just look in the mirror and know that you that girl mm. yeah girl you know what I'm saying cause yeah. I'm not I'm not insecure at all like I, I have not been voluptuous all my life. Mm-hmm. I used to be very, very skinny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, things change when you get a little older. You know what I'm saying? You yeah, know? Some men don't even want no skinny girls no more. I don't want to be skinny. There you go. You know, I don't want to be skinny. I like being full figured. I like, you know what I'm saying? I, I love me. Yeah. Of course, it's, everybody got some stuff that they want to work Most on. Definitely. But I don't want to be skinny. And this is not anything against skinny women. No, we love at skinny all. women. I love, I love all women. types of women all shapes all shades i love, shades. I love um, everybody yeah but but i do run across women who come talk to me and they tell me like you know i just be wanting your confidence or all yeah, you gotta you got do is just confidence. do it you know yeah, what i mean confidence. like because when you look in the mirror you gotta just know that you the one like Facts. god god made you you for a reason he ain't make you like them yes. i don't want to be skinny i don't want no bbl i don't want to look like them mm. everybody look the same you know yes. what i'm saying like High confidence I love like that. nah so for to any woman that's a listening to one. this and they need that confidence just just Look in the mirror and smile and just know that you the one, baby girl. Mm-hmm. Literally. Exactly. I love that. I, love I like that. that high confidence. Instantly when I 
yo, let me get in touch with you. Got in touch with you. It was yo, yes, let's do it. It wasn't yeah, it wasn't sure. anything crazy like a lot of phone calls I get. It was instantly high confidence yeah. and it yeah. was instantly like, yo, let's work, let's do yeah, it. Yeah, let's get it. Okay, so before I let you go, I want to tell you what we do on this show. Me and Mr. McGee got a segment where we got a thing called Mushy Moments. Mushy Moments, mushy moments is when you're giving somebody their flowers, somebody is doing good in your community, mm -hmm. and somebody is, you just want to show love to somebody. So I want to ask you, give somebody your Mushy Moment. Um, my Mushy Moment is going to go to my management team. Because I get him a hard Ooh. time. I get him a hard time, boy. But Ford Entertainment, OC, CMR, Leo, mm -hmm. they've been with me since day one. And they don't want nothing but the best for me. And a lot of times, I don't even mean to get him a hard time. But that's just me as a mm -hmm. person, like you said. As an artist. You know, as an artist. Mm -hmm. You know, you want stuff your way. Or, you know, but at the end of the day, these your, this my team and... I got to trust in my team, which I do. I trust them with my life. I trust them with my bank account. I oh, trust yeah. them with my okay. Instagram logins. Okay. <laughs> there you go. All that. So I'm going to send my mushy moment out to Ford Entertainment. I love y'all. Thank y'all for Shots sticking out with to me. Ford Entertainment. And always being with me. I love y'all so much. Yeah, that's <laughs> what's up, man. I, I get my I mushy that. moment to everybody who... Go out and go listen to Squeak album. Go. That pie. Go and support. Like I said, we got a real one right here. Shout out to the management team. Shout out to Squeak, man. Yeah, we just appreciate yeah. you coming on. Thank y'all yeah. for having me. Yeah. Dope show, dope segment. Make sure y'all tap in. Follow me on Instagram at Triple Play Squeak. YouTube, Spotify, all that good yes. stuff. Make sure y'all stream my new single. Do it because we're doing it for the rest and of the year. And every six weeks they drop Let's it. get it. Hey, they girls every matter. Let's six go. Weeks. They drop it. I love it. I love it. And listen, man, thank Thank y'all for tuning in, tapping in. Uh, yep. We've been getting some real good responses on the YouTube page. Do for not forget, real. we are available on Apple Music for my uh, for my audio listeners only. We are available on Apple Music, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and SoundCloud, guys. Get over yes. there. We're going to be doing giveaways and all of that good all stuff. Leg. But it's mainly going to go to my uh, audio listeners. We got to get over there. The YouTube go to iHeartRadio. Yeah, the YouTube is doing on, good. Man. Go to Apple Music. Go to Spotify. Get your ass over there, man. And quit playing. So, um, like, hey, y'all know how I end it, man. Listen, if nobody told you that they love you today, let me be the first one to say that I love you, I love you, I love you. And you already know, let me tell you something. Get money, stay true, stay true, get money. Peace. Oh,